And it is finally time for the November top characters list. And yes, it is December. This didn't come to you in November. So this is for November, video in December. I'm very sorry I'm late on it this month. That's pretty much 100% due to Thanksgiving break. I was out of town and I just decided to spend time with family instead of taking my recording equipment with me. I hope you guys will forgive me. Every month, the top 25 list is considering characters at their best in the current meta. And I thought it would be really fun to have my pollsters vote on the best characters of all time. Who was the best in their moment? Who were the most dominant characters in the game in their prime? Kind of a tough consideration. And some of my pollsters sent me angry notes saying, Cubs, this is hard. <laughs> and it, it is hard. It's kind of all over the place. It's hard to remember. And there's so much to consider here. So please take this with a grain of salt. This is nostalgic. This is fun. But this is what we came up with for the top 15 most dominant characters of all time. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Old Ben, Wedge Antilles, R2-D2, Rey Scavenger, Darth Nihilus. All right, so out of this first group, the first character that stands out to me is Obi-Wan Old Ben. Now, Old Ben, for those of you who are newer to this game, this might be a bit surprising. I mean, he's good, but top 15 all time. What you will not remember is, or what you weren't around for, is the evasion meta that Old Ben was a critical component of. And Old Ben in his prime, very, very hard to beat in the arena. I just, I remember there was a certain point where if there was any Old Ben team, I didn't even try because it was just so challenging to beat. Wedge is on this list as well. And Wedge used to be, I mean, in his prime, man, Wedge, Biggs and Wedge together were just an insanely dynamic duo. Probably one of the first times that we really had some serious DPS going out because Biggs is going to do his attack, it immediately calls Wedge and one other character. And that was just a really, really good one two punch. I love seeing Scavenger Ray in at number 12, and I love that she she's had some really long sustained use, but I'll never forget when I was first getting serious about this game, I met somebody who played Galaxy of Heroes in real life, and this is, you know, maybe six months or so into playing Galaxy of Heroes, maybe less, and I, I was talking to him, and he had Ray farmed up, and I was like, man, she kicks my butt in the arena, but I don't want to farm her. He's like, dude, you've got to farm Ray, and I remember just it kind of blew my mind and opened my eyes that I could invest in a character that was hard to farm and that I could eventually get there. I was I was so focused on the small farms. I was still new to the game, and man, that f flurry of blows was just devastating. And whoever, had, you know, a lot of it was about who had the fastest Poe, and Ray was, you know, basically plugged into man so many different lineups. And just the sheer DPS that she could put out was pretty intense. And so Ray definitely, in my opinion, really deserves this spot because there is a time where if you didn't have Ray in your arena team, you were doing it wrong. Ray Jedi training. Baze Malbus. Jurit Imwe. Darth Maul. Jedi Knight Revan. All right, number ten is Ray Jedi training, and I. Wonder how you guys are gonna feel about that. I actually think it's pretty accurate. Um, now, when Ray, when she first came out, um, she was good. I think there were a lot of mixed reviews at first, but her meta did not last very long, and I never felt like Ray was just uh, an absolute must-have. Commander Luke Skywalker was. He was our first Hero's Journey character, and I feel like Revan has had a, a more powerful impact than Rey did, but Rey didn't pack that same dominant punch. She is the lowest Hero's Journey character on this list, and I think that makes sense. Out of the, the group of three, Rey was definitely the least dominant. I think it's funny seeing Chirrut and Baze together again, and this was this was r the rule when when I first started doing these top 15 lists. Chirrut and Baze were still a big part of the meta. They came out with tournaments uh, when tournaments were a thing, and obviously that kind of crashed and burned. But very paywalled characters. Not very many people had Chirrut and Baze, especially you know seven stars. And anybody who had the the pair of Chirrut and Baze, they were sitting pretty well in the arena. They were incredible. 
incredibly dominant and they were always together and everyone i think everyone who considers Churton and bays just considers them together that pair was one of the most frustrating pairs to get through i mean just all of the healing that came with them at that time there were not enough counters to it you you just it was so challenging to get through darth maul criminally short meta that he got now i'm i was okay with this at the time because i didn't have sith i had jedi i was insisting on running qui-gon jinn and then r2d2 hit and that burn mechanic um and, and especially the synergy with the jedi pretty much put an end to the mall meta um not too long after it began but when that meta first hit darth maul was just literally the most insanely annoying character to go against and he made the whole team so evasive it was like evasion meta 2.0 and it was just it was so hard to land a hit and then when you made progress they're gonna be stealth again and you're just pulling your hair out the, those were some of the most frustrating arena battles of my life going against mall teams i do i do remember hitting a point where i just i wouldn't fight mall teams until r2d2 came and then finally there was a way to counter that evasion and then we've got jedi knight revan in at number six now jedi knight revan is probably in my opinion the best character in this game right now however compare how dominant revan is next to how dominant some other characters were and to me it makes sense that he's missing the top five i think this is pretty much just about right um there, there's look there's a lot of counters to revan especially with basil sean fallen um in the mix right now and then i think something else to consider is there's just so many characters now the the depth of our rosters is in a totally different place than it used to be and so it's a lot harder for a character to hit this game and be super dominant and so to me Revan he's dominant right now but next to some other characters that have made a huge splash it makes sense that it's not quite as significant as others that we'll talk about here next Grand Admiral Thrawn General Kenobi Rex Darth Treya Commander Luke Skywalker I do not think it should come as any surprise that Commander Luke Skywalker is coming at number one on this list. And I'll tell you what, it really was not that close in the voting. Commander Luke Skywalker ran away with this one. This to me is not, out of everything on this list, what I feel the most confident about is Commander Luke Skywalker, when he first hit, was the most dominant character this game has ever seen. Commander Luke Skywalker was overpowered, in, in my opinion. I think it, he didn't break the game, but there was a serious, serious discussion of this is too far. At the time, there were so few options to really handle and mitigate what Luke was able to do. And I think a lot of it was that that uh, call to action, just the amount of healing that came with it, combine that with the 100% term meter removal on his special, term meter removal on his basic, and just the sheer amount of DPS that he put out was just overwhelming, completely overwhelming when that first hit. So Commander Luke Skywalker in at number one, most dominant of all time in the history of this game. And I think that completely makes sense. Now we got to talk about all of these characters because I think that they're ordered pretty much right. Darth Treya, when she first hit, definitely felt the same way. Rex has to be on this list. Rex is like, for the longest time, it was like, is Rex ever not going to be the go-to leader in this game? It got cliche. Um, I almost feel like Rex deserves to be on this list just because of his longevity. I don't know if a character has been as solid as Rex has been for a long time. And his leadership ability, what makes him OP, is not even an Omega ability. <laughs> I mean, this guy, don't ever give this dude a Zeta Capital Games, okay? Like, he <laughs> we do not need to have another three years of Rex. Probably the most versatile leader in the history of this game when general kenobi first hit general kenobi was the best tank i mean he's he's still one of the best tanks in the game and still i mean we want to talk about longevity general kenobi has quite a bit of that but this is the first time we really saw that mass assist when you know and he's he's got that the cleanse component which was super important back during the days of the triple cleanse especially um and then also add that retribution on top of that 
with the mask with the mass assist and general kenobi while he himself does not deal a ton of damage the amount of tankiness he brought to the table one of them you know one of the most tanky characters we ever had combined with the dps he can bring to the table by calling everyone to assist he was just he was an absolute must to have in your arena team and general kenobi is actually the difference maker for me i, I spent a long time in this game up until i first got general kenobi floating around 50 to I, I was in between 50 and probably about rank 20 um, all of that time I never quite made it to number one before I got General Kenobi I saved up the gear for General Kenobi I unlocked General Kenobi and that day I hit number one in my squad arena and I've been able to to get there ever since so General Kenobi was that big of a difference maker for me and it's kept me there so General Kenobi in at number four totally makes sense dude and then I know a lot of you guys, you can't, you'll, you'll get mad at me if I leave this video without talking about Thrawn. Thrawn had a massive impact on this game. And some people still believe Thrawn is the best character in this game. Now, I'm going to say that's up for debate and it probably depends on what angle you're approaching it with. Revan, in my opinion, is the best character in this game right now when he's at his best, when he's with Jedi. However, the counter argument to that by many would be, well, Thrawn is better than Revan because he's more versatile. He works in more squads. He's a counter to more squads. And you're absolutely right. If we're looking at the most versatile character in the history of this game and right now, Thrawn is the clear cut winner in my opinion rex is going to be a close second in the history of the game if we're talking leaders he's the runaway but overall thrawn just has the most utility i can picture in this game and fracture is still just i mean i just i just can't picture a day and age where fracture won't be usable it's one of the eternal counters in this game and so grand admiral thrawn and at number five absolutely making sense to me all right, my friends, that is our top 15 characters of all time list. Let me know what your opinions are down in the comments below. I can already see you guys having dissenting opinions here. That's fine. Tell me what you would rank it as. What is What would you order differently on this list? I would love to hear it down in those comments comments if you guys like this video definitely let me know give the video a thumbs up and share it with your guild mates uh, next month we'll be back to the normal top 25 i promise uh, but every year as long as this game continues we'll probably take a take a look at the all-time history of the game every november when we hit that three-year anniversary thanks again for joining me for the video my friends and as always my brothers don't forget my dead body